Today's horror manga dub narration is The Tunnel. From the horror anthology 100 Ghost Stories of My Own Death by Matano Anji. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right in to The Tunnel. The form of two ghosts have been confirmed to be roaming that tunnel. A girl running away, and the man chasing her down. The man closes in on the woman and strikes her. Then, both of them disappear amid ghastly shrieks. The truth is, six months ago, an incident had taken place inside that very tunnel in which a man assaulted and killed a high school girl. Even after all this time, people keep seeing those two ghosts show up. I always come to visit that tunnel and lay a bouquet of flowers. The truth is, the girl who died was in the same class as me. Rui Asuka. She was such a beautiful girl. Every time I visit this tunnel, I see that horrific sight. Rui running for her life as a man trails behind her with a knife. And then... He stabs her as her blood-curdling scream echoes through the tunnel. <sighs> even makes me shiver and sweat today. After the incident, I heard rumors about the ghosts start to surface. So, I've continued to come here to leave flowers and say a prayer, hoping to put her to rest. But something about all of this seems off. And that's because the only one who died in this incident was the victim. Rui. The fact that the man's ghost appears too is strange. If that man isn't truly a ghost, what other reason could he have for being here? One cause could be that Rui's memories became entwined with the tunnel. Or it could be a phantom that the rumors managed to conjure up somehow. If it were her memories, you would think at some point that they would fade away. But it's already been over six months and nothing has changed. Wait, could the rumors be what's keeping her memories bound to this spot? Let's test something out. And so, the boy began to search on his computer. And he came across a blog. A blog that read Ghost and Goblins blog. On the page there was a summary explaining the events of the ghost tunnel. And so, our dear protagonist clicked the report button. I erased every source of the rumors I came across one by one. The next day, I returned to that tunnel placed the bouquet of flowers near it, and began to pray. But once again, I saw those vivid memories. Rui, running for her dear life, and then, in a most horrific way, being stabbed from behind, in that awful bellow. But one thing I noticed, was that their figures are clearly less pronounced than before. So, this is what I have to do to get it to stop. And just like that, he continued to report page after page. M, why are there so many posts today? Uh, huh? That was when he came across a post on social media by a publisher known as The Horror Zone. In the post, it read, A report of our day today. The haunted site that's all the rage lately, the haunted tunnel. Is it true that any info you put out about it gets erased? To make matters worse, 
It had been reposted over 30,000 times. He couldn't believe his eyes. Despite how much he had tried to stop the rumors, they continued to spread. What was happening here appeared to be the Streisand effect. For those of you unfamiliar, it's when you're trying to hide something or get people to stop talking about something, it just ends up drawing their attention further to it. He watched in agony as he saw what he had done only made it worse. That day, he immediately ran toward the tunnel. <sighs> Until he finally arrived and peered around the corner. As he peered inside, he saw the apparitions, but this time, they were greater than ever. He watched in complete and utter horror as Rui Asuka ran from the perpetrator, running as fast as she could. But he knew how it would all end, because he had seen those events play in his mind over and over again. No matter how fast Rui may run, she would never escape that man. He called out to the apparition. Rui! But then, he witnessed the agony once again, as she horrifically got stabbed in the back. This time, the vision was not distorted at all. He watched it happen right before his very eyes. It's... As clear as day now. How could I let this happen? It's... It, it, it's over. At this rate, the killer's face will be... And then, the horrible truth was revealed. He was Ruyasuka's killer. Hey everyone! Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, Ace Anonymous, and Ali Wei. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.